Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up the Azure RM provider in Terraform to manage your Azure infrastructure. If you're working with Azure, this is the provider you'll need to get started with deploying resources efficiently. So let's dive right in. All right, first thing first, to add the Azure RM provider, head over to the Terraform registry. So I'm going to open up my browser and type HTTPS registry dot terraform dot io press enter once you're there it is super simple click on browse providers and i'll select azure and on the right side you'll see a section called use provider and if you scroll down a little it says how to use this provider and it says to install this provider simply copy paste this code into your terraform configuration and then you can run terraform init command to initialize this code so i'm going to select this copy it now I'm back on my VS code and I'm going to directly paste this into my Terraform configuration file called main.tf. So basically you can see here it says required provider is Azure RM and the source is HashiCorp Azure RM and the version is 4.3.0. You'll notice a line that says configuration options. Basically you need to replace that with features to activate the default configuration. Now that the provider is configured, it's time to install it. So I've already opened up the terminal and logged into my Azure subscription. So I'm going to run the command terraform init. So this command will basically initialize your provider and sets everything up. So it'll download the Azure RM plugin and make sure it is available for use in your environment. All right, so I'm going to press enter. Okay, you can see Terraform has been successfully initialized. So once you see that the provider has been successfully initialized, you're all set. And that's it. You have successfully added and initialized the Azure RM provider in Terraform. From here, you can start using it to manage and deploy your Azure resources. In the upcoming videos, I will show you how you can create and deploy some actual infrastructure in Azure. So stay tuned for that. If you found this video helpful, do not forget to like and subscribe and drop any questions in the comments below and I will catch you in the next one. Thank you for watching.